Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Anno 1800. Now the journey continues as we look to fulfill all the needs of all the residents in the game. Now in the last episode, I had just finished with the tourists, which have now had their demands, their happiness, their lifestyle, all of that has been fully delivered on. Next, we move up to the scholars and the engineers, in kind of in conjunction with each other as they share certain goods. So let's begin. We'll just have a look at the tourists here. So this is their happiness category. They have their fur coats, jewelry, lemonade, souvenirs. Now souvenirs are going to fluctuate just a little bit while I'm waiting on certain things to get delivered. It's more just a trade route issue, but eventually as other islands fill up, this one will eventually fill up too, as we are making more than we need. And I checked it in the statistics. It is a consistent production line, which means I'm... It's not dipping for some reason. That means, you know, it's misleading or something. The statistics are correct. So, in the needs category, that's all done as well. And then lifestyle, of course, we've delivered the mezcal, ice cream. Mezcal is also going to fluctuate just a little bit as it's been delivered to some other islands. So, once those other islands get full, then this one should get full as well. Eventually. So, that's pretty much where we're at with those guys. They were actually easier to do than I thought. So, next, we move, like I said, to the scholars. Now, the scholars need canned food, tailored suits, seafood stew, and then that should unlock the radio tower, which is already built and in proximity to them. It's been a long time since we've seen that, but there she is. Radio 1800. So, once we build up the population a little bit, back up to 7,000, another 1,100 needed, the radio category will re-unlock. We used to have these things delivered before the war. <laughs> it's just funny saying that before the war. Anyway, in the lifestyle needs, did we skip over happiness? Yeah, I guess we did. So they needed the leather boots, which we had just delivered as well to the tourists. We needed the bombins, which were just delivered from the tourists as well. So this is what I was talking about a little while ago, when I said that once the investors are done, everything should just start getting easier. More and more residents start to share their goods across the different categories. And the population will just start swelling and rising, giving us more and more workforce for everything. So it should all just get kind of easier, for, and the goods are obviously less complex. So it should all just kind of get easier. The challenges that will be lying in wait for us are going to be scooters, Arctic reports, the New World reports, and then I would say some of the in-basin stuff is going to be a little tricky to pull together. Not difficult, but time-consuming because in-basin changed a lot during the war, and then I kind of moved a lot out of Tabarine, so things have to kind of be reordered there. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back into things. So let's just start with, oh, and just look at some of the crossover for the engineers. Canned food, right? So these guys need canned food. And the engineers need canned food. Artisans need canned food. Some technicians, I think, in the Arctic need canned food. So a lot of different things are using that, so we're going to get that one done next. So I was looking in between episodes, what could I do to get canned food? And I thought the easiest thing to do would be to actually utilize our docklands so i make a lot of steel i think it's something like 50 tons per minute is made in excess of what we actually consume so we actually make about 80 or 90 and we consume 50 or consume 30 so we're left with about 50. so 50 tons per minute if we want to get ourselves canned food which is available from fetal it actually says tattershire farms that can't be right right it should be fetal Oh, it's just hovering over from there. So there we go. Fetal. Thrift and abundance. Anyways, we'll pull it in. So it is there. It is a higher tier of good. You know, it's 1.4 exchange ratio. But if we throw down some steel, and I had to look at it. If we set it to 420, which I guess it remembers because I was just looking before the episode. We set it to 420. I think we make roughly about 1,150 steel. So we should have more than enough to just exchange the steel straight up for the canned goods. I hope. Now, let me just see something really quickly. Yeah, so we actually make canned food in three different places, or sorry, in three factories here, which we don't need anymore, because we're just gonna pull it all in from Docklands. So that can go, and that can go. They were making goulash, they were making canned food, and that frees up some of the iron ore as well, generally speaking, and some of the workforce, of course, for future. They weren't actually getting a buff, this is just affecting jewelers, I think, at the moment, so these can all move out of here if we ever wanted to, uh, for now. All right, so we'll head back. Have a look at our thing. So he's arriving in six minutes. And the way I basically work this out is it roughly takes Tobias, you know, he says he arrives every 20 minutes and you can track it in the statistics that he roughly arrives every 22 to 23 minutes, depending on where you are in the particular map. We're right on the edge, but he does actually happen to come in from down there. So the time it takes him to get here, it's usually about two to three minutes. 
Anyway, so if you just times that by the production of whatever you make or the consumption of whatever you need, then you get the number that you'll probably need to bring things in. So I needed somewhere in the realm of, well, we could just check. If we go globally, canned goods, we consume 18. 18, oh God, my voice is just going today in this episode over and over again. Let me just take a drink. Excuse me, anyway. <clears throat> so, 18 times about 23, you know, that gives us roughly that number there, I think. <laughs> so, hopefully that should be okay. So, anyway, that's canned food brought in. We just need to now sort it out in terms of trade. So, let's have a look to see if we're currently doing it. I think we're sending it up to the Arctic already. Yeah, so that's already done. The glacier supply, that's actually in the Arctic, taking it from King William Island, the main island up there. Arctic to the Old World, so not... Oh, it is there, yep. Yeah, we're pulling it in from Lusk. So a batch of 100 tons per minute on a on an airship. New World to the Old World had a route trying to do it, but there's no ship on that anymore. So we can just delete this route, I think. And then the Old World has a route where it's trying to supply all the various islands. I'm going to delete this one as well and just make this one fresh. Well, actually, this is, it's, this is actually is what we need. But we'll just get rid of this bit here, so... I don't know why we were picking it up and then unloading. I think it's because this island, or maybe this one actually made makes some. And it needs to go here as well, because there's artisans on Malahide. Let me just hit accept on that for a second and see, do they consume canned food? Because of course, there's not many of them. They do. So let's see. Do you actually make it here? You do, you make your own. How interesting. Well, we could let them be self-sufficient and just leave them off the route. There's always that option. Let's see, canned food. Yeah, they make more than they need. I think they're fine then. Let's just let them do their own thing. They have their own iron mines. I see no problem with this. You guys can do whatever you want. Oh, you don't have beef or red pepper. So where's your, or goulash actually. So what's the situation there? So, have I made too many? They have a lot of goulash, but where are you getting it? from <laughs> yeah definitely don't see it it says zero on the island so and I was just checking like oh is there a town hall maybe you know um, trade union maybe we're giving it to them through an item but I don't see it but it is almost full so let me just check goulash did I spell that right where the hell are they getting it from yeah I'm not sure about that one let me know if you think you know oh Oh, they're exchanging so um, soap for goulash. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> that's fine. Just wanted to make sure that, you know, this isn't going to just fall away from me some sometime in the future. So that seems good. All right, you guys are sorted. If that's the case, then you don't need to be on that trade route. I can see what past Darn was thinking. So get off that route. Keep it the way it was. So you're going to pick up everything up here. Canned food. Bonk. And... Don't do that. Just unload pretty much all of it here. Maybe just leave half of it to go to rush as well. All right. Leave that as as is. So that's canned food sorted for the old world. Now, what about the new world? Do they consume it over here? I have a feeling they do. I just don't quite remember which tier. I wouldn't call these lean years. Not seeing it there. All right, what about Artista then? No, okay. I guess I'm just wrong with that one. I thought they did. So what about Embesa? Again, for some reason, I feel like they do. Under the Lord, we are but one family. No, no canned food here either. Hmm. Son, it's so strange to me. I just could have sworn these are the jam. Riches. Oh, there is canned food. There it is for shepherds. Okay, so anywhere that has shepherds. That's a lot of places. A lot of places. A lot of little islands got to be fed canned food over here. Yeah, pretty much everywhere we live, right? So. All right, let's figure this out then. So we'll create a route, a trade route that goes from Tabarim to Rock Lobster to Clay Supplier to Indiegogo to Bird's Eye. And we'll just load a, dedicate one ship to doing it all. I hope that'll be okay. 
All right, and we'll just put a regular ship on this one. Anything that's in Embesa right now would be nice. The early bird four. Just stick it in Embesa and call it delivery. Canned food. Keeping it on one ship I think is good, even though they won't consume much of it. It's just because there more islands might be added to this in future, so probably just safer to do it this way. And let's just, uh, oh. I was gonna say throw this overboard or put it somewhere that it's not needed anymore. There we go. All right, off you go. Back on your route. <clears throat> okay, so that's the local route here. So the local route in the Arctic is done. The local route here in Embesa is done. Um, just leaves really sending it from the Old World to Embesa and sending it from the Old World to, I guess, Cape Trelawney as well. Is that almost here? It's just the right. He's the guy's arriving any minute. Oh, he's coming in from here. All oh, right. Oh, that's actually way quicker then. So we'll be getting even more than I thought. I thought he came in from all the way down there. For some reason, I had that in my mind. But he obviously comes in pretty quickly. So we're full up on steel right now. We'll see this chunk down in a second. From three eight hundred, basically three seven fifty. God, how long has he taken? Still hasn't done it, doesn't it? I thought it happens like pretty much instantly. Oh, maybe I was looking at the wrong ship. Boom, there we go. Oh, you can actually see the time it takes him to trade. That's cool. Yeah, so there we go. So it's taking the right amount now. So we should have 420 canned food waiting for us. And if I recall correctly, there's already a ship... No, there isn't. I thought maybe there was already a ship taking it to the New World. But no, it doesn't need to go to the New World. Alright, so we'll create a new route, trade route from Lusk again to... Hmm. Yeah, I guess just straight to Embesa. We'll go straight to Tavarine. Load up with whatever we can. This will take a while for this route to kind of backfill. Actually, is it Embesa to Old World, I think? Yeah. So it's an import. Import canned food. All right. And then we just need to do that again, but for Cape Trelawney. So obviously, too many ships are going to be taking this one little pile. That's why it's going to take a while to fill everybody, but they consume it fairly slowly. Oh, we're actually getting low on ships. I'm going to wait to do this route until I have another um, reefer. All right. Leave that. So this is going to be uh, Cape to Old World. So it is an import canned food. So I'll just hit save on that one. So we don't have that ship just yet. We'll just make it. Actually seeing some ships waiting now. Very strange. Why would you wait here when there's like a million other piers? These are all piers, by the way. So there's like one there. Oh, sorry, not that one. There, there. Oh, these are repair cranes. My bad. I guess maybe we were full for a sec. Oh, that reminds me, actually. There's something I need to do, which is go over to the Harbor Master or try to get a new Harbor Master item to speed up the loading times in the New World because it's getting a little crazy over there. There's only one item, I think, in the game that does it. So we'll type loading speed. Harbor Master item. We have Khadija Zigay, Angareb's Market Master. Loading speed 30%. And then passive trade is increased 30% as well, where she'll actually give you ceramics, tapestries, clay pipes, illuminated scripts, and lanterns. Now, to combine that with other things, there's this one. Harbor activity 17%. Every time trade happens, you get goulash, bread, canned food, sausages, chocolate, plantains, tortillas, beer, schnapps, champagne, rum, or coffee. Loads of things. And then there's another guy that does the advanced weapons. So let's just do harbor... There's no harbor activity, no? Because I don't know where that guy is. He looks like a military general type dude. Yeah, I can't remember where. Well, this, these will take a little while anyway at first. But there's... I probably just... I'm obviously... You guys, I'm sure, can spot it and I just can't. I don't want to delay too long by just staring at this until I find it. So it's fine. But that's a, a third kind of item I'm going to put in there in the new world. So basically... 
probably over here, right? There's a bunch of space for a harbor master. So this one actually affects the two piers on the side and one and about five in the middle. So that's pretty good. And then we'll throw her in there. She can look over this whole place, and then we get a little bit of extra items just passively for free. Just a little bit. Probably do the same up here in the future as well. Or just see if we can make everything go really fast here. So, just to keep track of the population right now, we're on 170,000. My max research is 96,000. So I think it's every... Yeah, we need to get 10,000 population just to get another 1,000... Um research points but I think it's only every hundred population over that you get a thousand so even if we just raise the population to 10,400 we would actually have a hundred thousand research points to pull from now why that's important or significant is because I'm at my threshold for how many fertility changes I can do for how many great Easterns I can make that kind of thing because they it goes up each time you make them uh, so, you need 100,000 to be able to get the next tier of things. So, a nice big threshold to hit would be 100,000. So, we should be able to do that, I think, by raising the populations here. Hopefully in this episode. So, canned food is already starting to be delivered, just like that. So, the next thing is tailored suits. Oh, you know what? I j yeah, okay, let's do that first. There's another thing I need to do from the previous episode I haven't caught up with yet. But let's have a look at tailored suits. So, we were just slightly under making that at Lusk. It's very frustratingly... A small amount that we're behind, but it's an amount nonetheless that we need to fix. So, there's room for another building here in this trade union space. Another tailored suit building. I'm just trying to think. It would fit nicely right about there. So let's do that. Alright, so that's suits. So that's going to be taking linen and cotton fabric. Now, let's just set up the trader straight away because we have tons of them just lying in wait. 695. I guess not that many, but we've got some. So let's just get a, the ball rolling and send it from here up to here. So let's go tailored suits. And before I continue with that, we should just check. Tailored suits, I believe, is only consumed... I think, by scholars. I don't think it's used as lifestyle for anything else because it is a DLC item. What was I going to check? Oh yeah, sorry. So the consumption is 12 per minute. Yeah, so we could take about three slots, I think, on that ship. Gilmont. Yves Gilmont. All right. Let's just call it suits, and we'll stick it in the old world and leave it at that. So that can be added to, right? We've got something else to add to that, as long as it takes roughly about the same amount, about 10 to 15 tons per minute. Now, we're going to have to obviously make sure that this supply chain is going to work out for us. So linen. I don't remember where you get linen from. Do we get it with any, any of these guys? No, yeah, we get bombins. Linen, we actually produce more than we need, so that's nice, even with the increased amount we just demanded. And it comes from Mbesa. Tabarim are the main proponents of it, but Rock Lobster actually make it a little bit too. Just locally, I guess, for something. For the finery, I suppose. Okay, um... So, is it being moved already? No. So, let's set up another trade route. <laughs> it's going to be trade route heavy this episode, I think. But Tabarim to the Old World. Into Lusk. Let's go with Linen. And this is going to also need a uh, reefer ship, if we can get one. That's an export. Linen. All right, doesn't have a ship on it yet, but once those ships get made, we'll throw them on it. We're not in any super, super big hurry right now. It's okay. How's the canned food situation? Have we seen it arrive here already? Yay, there it is. They're getting some, just like that. Just like that. 
Yeah, so cotton fabric would be next then. Let me just see, what else did the scholars need? So, that's that. Oh yeah, seafood stew. Hey, we just got the radio tower unlocked, so that's going to boost the population even further. We're up to 172,000 now, with the next threshold at 173,900. So basically, when we hit 174,000, we'll get a little extra influence, which is always nice. Um, but yeah, be, I'm more curious to see this reach 100,000, so that'd be cool too. We've got runes in our city. Let's have a look where... Oh yeah, the fire at the end of the last episode was here. It's going to put a slight extra demand on our canned food, actually, because some of them were artisans. Alright, cool. Oop, still have a couple out this way. The estates. Not much in the way. Never really put anything into these, either. i have to do something with that in the future. That's something I've been ignoring pretty heavily in the game is the town halls. That could be reducing the consumption pretty heavily. Of, hey, we just did it. We hit our threshold. A little bit more influence. 174,000. Off we go. So, seafood stew is actually an easy one to do. Because we already make more than we need. 11 over 9. And it's, again, made in Tabarine. Um, but it's needed in... Let's see the volume that's needed. Seafood stew, and then if we just check the old world, seven tons per minute, and then what was linen? Just in the old world, 14. Hmm. Yeah, we can double up that ship, I think. Two of these slots could be used for seafood stew, and I think that'll be okay. Because it's 100 tons. They're consuming 7 per minute. So it would take 10 minutes to consume 70. And it doesn't take 10 minutes. It takes like 6 minutes to get there. And maybe like 2 or 3 to get to the island. So I think we'll be okay with that. Seems like mu much more than enough. And this one is only going to be the 7 minutes. Because it doesn't go to swords. Alright, anyway. So yeah, we're just waiting for that ship. A strange combination of things. But both comes from Embasis. So it makes sense. Okay, so that'll be seafood stew. I hope one day they'll do my truffled trout. How are we doing with everything else here? Oh, they lost mezcal for a bit. Yeah, I did anticipate that would happen, but that's okay. We make enough. Tailored suits have arrived, so that's the next thing that they're getting. And then it's the seafood stew. So we just need to queue up sending seafood stew here. Let's try the tailored suits ship. And we'll add the seafood stew to that, even though it's only seven per minute. We'll just, yeah, throw it onto the ship as well. It's way more than enough, but that's still still okay, I think. You could you could argue that you could maybe put something... If something is only needed, like, I don't know, five or four or three tons per minute, we could put it in one slot, but that's okay. And this is called uh, Suits and Stew. But I'll, I'll keep that in mind, just in the back of my head, for <laughs> maybe one or two episodes before I forget. So if we find anything that they need in small quantities, we could give them that. All right, so that's pretty much going to be... That'll be it, actually. Apart from the tough one, which would be Scooters. Which could be that final slot, actually, thinking about it. Now, Scooters is also Life needed by the like Artisans. So we could double up on that one a little bit. Just out of curiosity, how many Scooters do we need? Two tons per minute. That's nothing. You know what? That is a perfect thing, then. So let's just already put this in place. We'll say this is going to be Scooters. Okay. Hmm, delivery, suit, stew, scoot. <laughs> I'll just leave it like that, Go. It's just so it comes up when I search it, but also, because I can see the icons, I know what it is, but when I'm searching, actually searching just gives you the items anyway based on what's on the route, so I suppose I don't need to even name them this way, but it's all good. That's why some of them are just called delivery special, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alrighty, so looking pretty good. We're actually going through very quickly. Now, the, the, we'll have to go back, take a step back for a moment, because what I haven't checked is, is that completely stable as a, from its foundation, the production chain. Uh, let's just check telephones as well, just while we're here. Yeah, we're looking good. 
And that's been running for so long that I'm not concerned too much with like the filament situation. It's a little low. Wooden wood veneers is fine. All right, just in case, let's check filaments. Ah, it's pulled in through docklands, which means it's fine. Okay, good. Yeah, so citrus needs to be fixed from the last episode, and then we'll have to check on cotton fabric. So let's get to work on those two. So you may remember that in the last episode, there was two things I'd left by the wayside. We were making lemonade and shampoo. So shampoo didn't have a coconut oil root, but I've since made one. So that's what I did in between episodes. I just made that one root. So that's fine. But so And we make enough coconut oil, but we do not make enough citrus. So I'm going to go out to its own island to make citrus. And that was just to fix one of the chains for the tourists, which I was racing ahead to kind of deliver stuff just before the chain was fully, like, all thought out. Um, the mezcal situation is kind of confusing to me because we definitely do have enough, right? Yeah. Ooh, it's actually gone offline for some reason. So why is that? Oh, probably because we're not... Yeah, we don't have enough citrus. Okay, yep, let's fix it. Let's figure it out. All right, so... Citrus. So we need 81 tons per minute. We're currently making about 60. Now, this is where I'm going to go out to this island. So this is an island on the far west of the map called Quintasique. Or what is it? Quintessensk. And we're just going to set up orchards here. And then there's already a baked-in workforce. And just go pick them up. Yep. So I think we can make about five orchards. I'm not sure how much that gives me. But we could actually even do a stamp. Again, this is gone. So we'll have to uh, grab it from somewhere else. Alright. All right, let's just do that. Oh, that's not how it works. We need to go like this. Apparently, in this latest update, this has been fixed, by the way, so I don't know. It's interesting that it's, yeah, it's set as Cam 4 Wax, I guess. All right, so we'll go to this island. We'll just plop this down and say, there you go. 100% range. Now, we need to deliver, I suppose, construction materials. Let's get cracking on that. All right, off you go. What a behemoth. No more space here. These guys are full as well. Aye. What is everybody doing? So coconut oil, new world, delivery. It does come to this island. It's actually just on the way to getting its stuff now. But the fact that that's stalled means that there's probably not enough ships or something probably wrong with it. I'll leave it for now, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, right, so we'll just speed up time. We're waiting on it to arrive over here. I also wanted to check on... Hey, look at the population, by the way. 176. We are rocking. And the scholar population is getting close to that 10k mark, finally. So that's really good to see, too. I'm delighted to introduce our new colleague. So their happiness category is fluctuating. They're after getting their seafood stew. The lifestyle needs... We're not going to deliver any of that stuff. The scooters may be in this episode, but kind of unlikely. Yeah, rum ran out. When rum runs out, we actually have a problem. The restaurant dies, the bar, which means that we lose a lot of our customers. And that can have a knock-on effect. So uh, I need to fix that as well. But it looks like rum just got delivered. Oh, I remember what I was going to do for this one. Yes, yeah, so let's go rum. In the old world, this one. Rum supply. There's actually two ships doing it, and I think that might be overkill. But what I'm going to tell them to do is I'm wait to load. Because they're jumping on top of each other, and that might keep it more stable. It blocks traffic a little bit, but I think traffic's still okay down here, even though it is busy. Alright, so, where I went off in my head was that I was wanted to transfer over those items for the harbor activity in the new world. Uh, so, we just made the other item, now we're making this lady. Or we're sourcing her. So I'll just have another brief look again. Harbor Master, let me just take the time to go through one of these one by one. So affecting defense turrets. Nope. We need to affect trading posts and piers is what we're going to be looking for. So trading posts and piers. Doesn't help that the tooltip just keeps moving. <laughs> All right, well, let me search advanced weapons. Hmm. Uh, 
I'm sure I just probably went through it again. You know what? I think I have the item down here, so this way we could just check it right here. There it is. Is it? Yep. Every time passive trade happens, there's a chance of gaining weapons, dynamite, advanced weapons, or sales. So a savvy customs officer. That's what I was looking for. So let's get her. No one else does anything for the loading speed, right? <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Savvy customs officer. I don't feel too bad because she was actually so far down I wasn't even checking that area. So that's probably why we missed her. We go up to 10,000 now again. We used to, back in the day, we used to be easily at 10,000. Now we're 5,000 engineers over it, so it's good to see. And that's all without placing any extra houses. We're just delivering things based on the same workforce that we've had the whole time, which is cool. Good feeling. Look at these engineers, man. They're like almost fully done. And we haven't even been really focusing on them. We're trying to do these guys. Good. Okay, so with those items moving over soon, in fact, we could start moving one over now, because she's the most important one. We'll see a little boost to our harbor activity. Skies are clear. Alright. We have to wait for her to appear, actually, so just give it a minute. Alright, so we've delivered our material. Nope, there's a thing there. Still have some workforce left. There's your warehouse. We'll have to source these other orchard items, but for now, these can be totally content in just being citrus, being regular, and if we can boost them, then all the better. Alright, there we go. Now we'll just paint these, plant these trees ourselves, maybe give them a helping hand. Okay. Super ugly, but it works. Now we just need some storage so that we can actually save up the amount that we need for these ships. Great. All right, you've done you've done your job. Off you go. Oh, we need to go get some bricks or something. All right, 25 workers left. So each one of these takes what 35. But when we put in some items, they actually might take more workers. So maybe even just four of these would be enough, unless we want to build connective piers. So we'll have to have another. Um, airport type thing and that would join the workforce might do it might not don't know we don't actually have the workforce here so <laughs> it's probably not necessary until we actually give these guys more stuff they're just running out of mail all the time that's that's their issue um i would like to deliver the work clothes but i don't want to get ahead of myself doing that all right so let's place her in oh she's not here why not Maybe it only works with trade unions, not harbor masters, to pull it straight from the airport. I could simply go to press. Sorry, am I losing my mind? She's not here. Oh no. I moved the wrong lady. How embarrassing. <laughs> it's not my fault, it's the same image. It's definitely the same image, right? Pretty sure. All right, let's send her over. It's obviously her sister or something. Yeah, it is the same image. Orvette Charles of the Royal Society Oceanographers, equipped in the Salvager. Has named zillions of marine life forms, receiving nothing but positives for her growing collection of underwater negatives. All right. So let's check now. How are we doing? So that's making nine tons a minute, which I can tell already is not going to be enough. Uh, it's, just, it's up to 69, under 81. Jeez, man. These take so much. All right. Well, it looks like we're building up this island a little bit then. If you want to get more Yonaleros and therefore just really have crazy amounts of orchards, I'm going to add a little village. 
In fact, we could just add it even somewhere down along this way. Why not? Get creative with it. Getting truly creative with it will mean... Um, oh, they need to have everything delivered if we're doing <laughs> lifestyle. We can do that, though. I'm not afraid. Uh, I was going to say, if you want to get truly creative with it, we want to do a time lapse in the future and kind of make it more organic along the uh, the ocean. But for now, we'll just grid, grid it out so I can get a feel for the numbers, and then we can sort it out in the future. But that should be more than enough, I think. Bum, 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 bum. I don't know why this is like all off. Oh, that's their lifestyle. Cool. So they'll need fried plantains. So we can just update the trade route that does that. Delivery of plantains. So pretty far out to go, man, but you gotta do it. So you're going around that way. Okay. Ooh, you set to throw overboard. Let's not do that there. Let's do that there. Now, what's the limit in these places? Is that pretty full? It looks like it's pretty full already. There's a ship that's just unloaded there. So I was thinking of telling it to just load it back up. And that way we can kind of keep it as a consistent. But eventually it'll just backfill anyway. So I guess just leave it. So you'll get your plantains. It might take a while while you're waiting on Manola to reach its... So 1,150. So it's not that far off. It's about 100 off. So it's okay. One ship might struggle to do all this, though. And it's coming from Marbella. And I think Marbella is full as well, is it? No, no, it's not. That's good. Good. So we're emptying it out quick enough, then. That's all I was concerned about there. So that's fried plantains, and then they're going to need ponchos as well. So we might as well get that up on up and running as well. Delivery of ponchos here in the New World. There is two ships doing this, but one ship doing the fried plantains. And I have a feeling there's more fried plantains than there is ponchos demand. Could be wrong about that, but I think so. So we'll send this one above. There we go. And send it out like that. So that should all eventually work itself out as well. So let me just have a look at that. So here, just in the new world alone, the rate that we're consuming ponchos is 22 per minute. And the rate of fried plantains is 18 per minute. So it is less. I actually thought it was the other way around. But I think we should have a second ship on this one. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so what now? So we're up to 154. So we can just keep adding more and more. Promotion not possible. Oh, you actually need bricks for this. Okay. All right, let's head back over. So let's speed up this traffic somewhat, yeah? Get in there, Khadija. Boom. Wow, they all finished at the same time. But that should greatly speed up loading. So let's have a look at what they're at now. 2.6 loading speed, whereas the regular ones are at 2. So we have 0.6 of a second better. Loading speed in tons per second, so 0.6 of a ton per second. <laughs> so it's something, I guess. I suppose when there's large volume, eventually it starts to help. The other thing as well is then we could boost these just a little further by upgrading them. So we can upgrade these. You don't have to assign them. But it would be curious to see what is the... In Manola, I don't know if we can see that in here. Tra these are all the trade routes. I wonder what's the thing that moves the most volume. I don't know if there's a way to see that. You'd have to go through them individually, I think. But I imagine it would be something like corn or citrus or caoutchouc. One of these like agricultural ingredients that goes to all these different islands and also goes to the old world. Probably something like that. Sugar is also a huge one. Looks like every nine minutes. But I don't know. Unless it was like every five minutes, I don't think it's worth specializing a single pier. So we've upgraded it now to 5.2 tons per second. So that's pretty good. That's way better. Are any of these special? No, they all look normal. Okay. I'll have to keep track of where I've done all these special ones because I'm not really too sure anymore. I think there's one or two down here. 
Yeah, this one. It's doing rum as a specialty. And coffee. I don't even think that that's not necessary anymore. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it and have a look around in my own time. Okay, so this was all in service of sorting out the... Why are you guys so unhappy? Sorting out the citrus. Oh, they don't have um, what they need, that's why. Guys are clear. Right, so let's give them what they need. They're unhappy, they don't have a church. It's good enough, right? Um, plantains, they want rum and stuff like that. That's fine, you'll get it eventually. And then you guys are going to have to give you orchard items. So what was the items that I used in this one? We really need to write these down because I have to end up getting them multiple times. So interspecies grafting. The next one is get rich quick. So GRQ volume one. And then double redundancy. Hmm. I have a feeling this is the one that's important because it gives the citrus as a byproduct as well. The other thing we can do is also have a look at which ones we produce too much of. So if we have too much coconut oil, you could change one of them maybe. Not enough coke, actually. What about cinnamon? Cinnamon's really high up as well. What about camphor? That's dead even. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's just keep investing in this citrus island, I guess, first. And we'll head back to the old world and see if we can grab some of these items. So, what was the one that I actually had in the airport? All orchards. Productivity 40, 25%. Workforces increased. Forest density increased. Hmm. Well, that's something. But it's not exactly what I want. Alright, item development. So, we'll go with interspecies grafting. Get a few of those. So volume one. And the last one was double redundancy. So double redundancy gives you 50% productivity. Yeah, it gives you better productivity for the workforce, I think, right? Oh no, the other one gives you better productivity for the workforce, but that one just gives you more overall. So yeah, we'll get all those, and I should just uh, reorganize that actually just real quick. Alright, so we'll throw all that down. That should give us the citrus we need once it's all down. And that's what the extra workforce is for. This they should grow a little bit. For. I guess we'll just move these over a little bit. Let the road come through. Yeah, whatever. Super efficient. <laughs> right, so. This road is planning to go all the way out there for no reason, so we'll get rid of that. And we can just extend it out further this way. And these ones won't be within the circle, I guess. Alright, something like that, just to add a few more in there. And then when they get there, the stuff delivered and we put the items in, hopefully there's enough workforce for all that. Alright, super ugly looking island, oh my god. But anyway. Hey! Look at the research points, 107,000! Wow, it went up loads. We're at 96. For the last, like, 50 episodes, I've been stuck at 96,000. Now we can research items and things that go all the way up to 100. Sweet. Might be even able to get it up even higher. So these guys are, yeah, pretty pretty satisfied. They need some stuff still in the happiness category. And then lifestyle, obviously, if we can give them the regional mail, that'd be a nice boon. And then the uh, overseas mail would be huge if we get that running. 
Then for the... Yeah, the reports are five per household, which is okay. And then the scooters are seven per household, which is a kind of a difficult thing to pull together. Looks like canned food is okay, though, already. So that's good. The engineers need medicine. So we'll be working on that also. Hmm. So let me just regroup for a second and see what else can we be doing. Do we want to get some more ships? No, they're still making a bunch. Oh, yeah. So we left those routes unassigned, didn't I? It was an Ambasa to the New World route. This, not that one. This one, nope. Ambasa to Old World, sorry. Linen and stew. There we go. Let's get cracking. So that should fix things. Because stew is here in full, so we're able to kind of get that temporarily, but it, it will run out. And then the linen needs to come in for the tailored suits, because that's going to run out soon as well. So I should fix all that. Uh, what else? So that's almost done as well. We'll head over to the New World. Sorry, actually, we have to head back here. Just access the airport, throw in that lady that we just got a moment ago. Uh, again, I don't see her. Did I pick the wrong person? I thought she was a gold tier item that we'd just gotten and placed her in there, no? Hang on, this will show me the... Yeah, her. Lady Baines. I didn't move her already, right? So, don't know why I didn't see her. Maybe I just missed it. Unfortunately, the reason I'm not searching in here, by the way, is this search is different than the other searches. This actually just searches the name of the item. It doesn't search by what it does. So, for instance, this says workforce needed. If I type workforce needed, it doesn't work. It's only stuff that actually has that word. Oh, that does work, actually. Oh, it just doesn't come up as a drop down. Maybe that's why. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, well, that's kind of good to know. So, normally it comes up as a drop down, you just select whatever it is. Anyway, Lady Baines. There she is. Oh my god, we've got six of them. <laughs> Didn't need the researcher at all. Alright, so, Citrus, how much are we making now? That's nine. These ones are still growing their fields, so let's just pad that out as well. All right, just about done. This actually seems to be just stalled, so I'm just gonna do that this one manually. Is nothing short of a major discovery. Uh, don't know what's going on with that. Is this being oh selected for the wrong thing? That's why. I must have copy and pasted the one cam four wax thing. There we go. These are all cracked now, right? No, that one's wrong. My bad. I'm sure you guys probably spotted that, but it got there in the end. All right. So yeah, they're not they they're overlapping a little bit until we get those items in there. All right. So we just made that discovery again. So we'll pop that other lady in now. There we go, and once they move over, we'll see, get ourselves a few little extra objects every now and then due to harbor activity. Hopefully it just means that these ones are nice and free now. Also, actually just while we're here, sorry I keep flipping back and forth, but this means that we can, for instance, get more advanced peers. So, peer upgrade permit, permit right? You needed 100,000 points. Boom. Get it in there. Now it's going to be 110,000 for the next one, which I don't think we can get to yet. We're at 107. The Great Eastern Permit is 100k. Let's get one of those. Which I think I've only ever got one of them. So quite expensive to get Great Easterns. Uh, the Research Kit. No, I don't need that. Do we? No. Oh, yeah. We can get more Old World Rum and stuff. Cool. Just queue these up as well. Revolutionary Concepts. Mastery of nature. So, yeah, we can do all this one extra time now. Which is good. Nice. 
Gives our boys something to do in the research institute for a while. And I girls. Risk high oh no. Fresh the collapse. Is running dreadfully low. Yeah, I think that's just because they run out of rum sometimes. I have to work work on that. Because you can see these restaurants are... Oh, it's the citrus. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, that's what we're trying to fix. <clears throat> okay, so... Citrus. Still have 40 extra workers. We'll probably need a little more than that. There's room for a road down here, actually, which is good. kind of temporary housing. <laughs> We've got a new town. Uh, I don't know what to call this place. Citrus something. <laughs> I'm really eager to get these items and place them in. Alright, so let's access your girl Lady Baines and let's get the savvy customs officer. So now we're just also making random ass items basically whenever there's passive trade. It's only whenever there's passive trade to be fair. It's not every time we trade, it's every time an NPC comes by. But it does increase that, um... What's the word? Frequency. So that's good. Happiness is kind of down on this island, the Obreros. Not too happy. You have a responsibility to help us. Oh, because you got no beer. That's your only problem. The newspaper made you unhappy. Oh, did I not? Oh, shit. Thought I got rid of it. Whoops. Sorry, guys. They still don't have any coal. Oh, come on. How the hell are you out of coal? This city is a magnet for genius. So yeah, it is told to come in there eventually. So it's going to Lusk to pick up coal and dropping it in the Arctic. Then it's going to Lusk to pick up coal and then it's dropping it at Manola. I don't want the gift. So maybe something's wrong with the Docklands and we're running out of coal even in Lusk. That could be the case. There's a thousand here now. Captain Tobias is departing, so he's just made a... He's just made an exchange in terms of gold. Well, we've got tons of gold. So I don't know. Let's just up these numbers. Hope. Hope that's okay. <laughs> it should be. Because we don't really use gold for that many things. Oh, it's because they ran out of coal up here as well. We are, thank yeah. You. Coal shortage, man. Didn't expect that. So, it looks like we consume 221. And we produce 108 when we're producing properly. So, let's say that's 130 that we're missing. Don't think you'll be getting any more. So I'll just try to work that out. 130 times, you know, 22 minutes. Oh man, that's way more than we're pulling in from Docklands. That could be why. We need nearly 3,000. And I'm only getting like half that. That seems, I don't know how I've made that error. That seems like a massive error. So you're telling me you need like about 3,000 basically. Now, I think that'll probably be too much then for the amount of... S so how much salt powder do we bring in? Uh, let's just put this down to 500, just so I can gauge. Yeah, 35. Okay. We've actually just freed up more of this than we even need there. 1,600. 62. I'm just trying to work out because I, I roughly know how many we should be having i think it's i have about 300 gold to kind of give away in this before it would be a problem and we'd run out eventually so that should still be okay hopefully that fixes the coal issue 174,000 though looking good research is kind of stalled now so it seems like that's probably as high as we're going to go 90 more scholars and we'll get the next increase 100,000 would be would have been perfect just to leave it at so i'm happy with that anyway all right, so we need to set up a route to... Hey, look at that. The Yonleros have grown massively because we've delivered the plant plantains. So I'm just kind of biding for time here. 
for the research institute to get done with the extra orchard items I needed. This one's three minutes left to go. Was that just for one of them? Yeah, it's going to take a little while, obviously, to get these then. All right, well, we can just set up the routes because we know it's going to be needed eventually. So let's go create... Uh, oh, actually, there's already a trade route for this. So citrus in the new world is going to also go there. Now we can start looking at actually scooters, seeing how that's going to be done. Is one ship going to be enough for all that? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Just fly back out here again with some more wood, just in case they want to build a bit more. And then we'll give them those items. All right, so the really difficult one is going to be scooters, which we're going to work on in the next episode, I guess. So let's have a look. Scooters. We need three tons per minute more than we have already. It requires pigments, cow chuck, and motors. Actually, I am getting ahead of myself. The other thing was uh, more cotton. Yeah, so what we're going to have to do is build another fuel station somewhere up here. And it can move in a little bit of time. It doesn't really matter. But another one has to be placed in here on that uh, rail line. And that can then feed some of these extra things. So they've got everything they need in here. Let's just give them the rest of the cotton up to that area. So we're going to need one more of these, I think. So let's look at cotton fabric. Oh, we do actually produce enough cotton fabric. That's really good. So what about regular cotton? Just slightly short, just a tiny bit. So one extra farm, that'll be it. that'll be it. So what we got to do then is we'll just get rid of this. Get this over. All right. So just paint out these fields first. That's done. So I wanted to fit that there, but that building's in the way. Mm, da, 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 da. It's a lot of moving around. Faffery. Your people are miserable. It's be more than they need, definitely. Oh no, after typing on the name, <laughs> it's now called NOLA. Right, uh, so get rid of this, let's just put these back down then as quick as I can. So, are you guys okay? 204. Alright, that's you guys done, 216, let's get you back up to 216. Sixteen is a lot, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, that, obviously that farm is not going to fit 216. So I'd have to do a bit of a movement where all of these move. So I'll do that myself. That's just going to be a bit too painstaking here for the very end of the episode anyway. Um, but once these guys get their things delivered, which should be no problem now that we've added another here, fuel station. It should be totally fine. So there's one there, one there, and now one here. So that's going to be 260 total tractor barns that we can supply with all their oil requirements and fuel requirements. But that should actually, even just before I even build out the farm even more, give us the amount of cotton that we actually need uh, once it gets its thing. So it has to get its fertilizer first and then its oil. So the numbers will jump up a little bit once it does that. It's got a fertilizer now. That's 200% productivity. All right, but I'll, I'll obviously go through that one and fix that one myself. I think we're pretty much done for this episode then. I'm trying to think, was there waiting on anything else? I was really just waiting on these items to get made. I suppose, just real quick, we can transfer over that interspecies grafting item. How oh, would you look at that? There was one here already again. <laughs> Whoops. Well, good to know.
Well, let's check. Is the other one double redundancy here already? No. Um, there is another orchard item here, though. Get rich quick, volume one. We are researching that. That's it. That's the one we wanted. So the double redundancy one isn't here yet. But we can put all these three in. Do we have any fast airship? No, I don't think so. Alright, so this guy's going to fly back off one last time. Uh, grab those items that'll appear over here, basically, at the airport. And then we'll fly back with the items, and that should be it. We'll see how we're doing. I hate seeing this unhappy population. It's so sad. Feeling good, though, man. I mean, the progress has been really good. Wow, money's come down a lot, though. We were at 200 thousand at the beginning of this episode i don't know how that's come down so much i didn't build much industry i wonder did some item fall away that was actually worth loads of money oh the steam carriages yeah we've got 2300 there so what's going on we're not transporting it it's not a, it doesn't have a route there's your issue. <laughs> We're not actually sending them. I don't know how that's even happened. It's obviously consumed at such a small rate then. Because it took so long for that to feel that effect. Four tons per minute. Surprising, actually. So there's no steam carriage trade route. Steam. Nope. Wow. Okay. Um... I was just wondering, could I put it onto an already existing route? Let's just type swords. These are all the routes that just go there. So there's one route that's film and temporary. Yeah, so there we go. Perfect. Let's get rid of the word temp. I do need to simplify my instructions for the workers, lest they find another reason to complain. All right, funny. Yeah, so that was uh, that's probably the reason the money just fell. I would assume so. I mean, steam carriages are worth a lot. What is it per household? A thousand? So yeah, I would assume that's the majority of where that money went just now. Tapestries are sort of still there. Oh my god, cigars! It's all falling apart! <laughs> cigars? Really? The ingenious device is complete. Oh my god, it's not getting delivered either. <laughs> what? Hang on a Fathers second. Didn't know we still had the blighters. Come to think of it, did see some wretches plodding about the estate, probably poaching my grouse. I don't know how I've made that mistake. All right. Now, I just want to check something, just to see if my math is crazy, but, uh... Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Just, there we go. I just want to select one island. I don't know why I clicked all islands. It's like a habit. So, we just sent them cigars. So that's 10 per, ter, right. per minute. Film reel. Which is 9 per minute. And then, steam carriages, which is 4. So, two slots each is okay. I mean, one of them doesn't really need to be there at the... Steam carriages at the end, I guess. People are rioting. In the middle of nowhere. Scaries. Just because of that newspaper. This propaganda against me. This will actually allow us to reach both, surprisingly. <laughs> okay. Right, so anyways, here we are. The ship is back. And we want to pick up those items, so just drop that in here. Onwards. All right, so these are the orchard items we're going to be using. What it be? All right, off we go. On our way. And then we can check the stati statistics just to see uh, how we're doing for orchards. By the way, the fact that I just tripped up the word saying statistics, 
some uh, people might have seen the comment. Someone mentioned that they said like, "Oh, do you've like got a speech impediment or something? You're saying your ST's weird." I didn't realize that I did this. I think I speak fairly clearly. I have a habit of slurring words sometimes, but um, statistics. I can't remember what it was. Something that ends in STS is what it was. Whatever the word was, I think. Commitments, like something like that. Commitments. I don't know. Do I say it funny? Maybe I do. But that's, uh, I don't have a speech impediment. It's just how I say things, I guess. <laughs> and also, no one had ever mentioned it ever before. So, I don't know. Probably just that one person. But I feel like when you ever, someone points those things out, then you kind of like, slow it down and say it, and you're like, oh yeah, I do say it a bit weird. Alright, there we go. So, the items are in position. And remember, they make orchard, or sorry, citrus as a byproduct anyway. So now, globally, boom, we've got 90 over 81. And our trade is all in place such that we shouldn't have to update or change anything else. It should just get delivered. Now, the only difficulty celebrate. with having set up an actual population here is that, you know, they all require getting their goods as well, eventually. But we haven't gotten to their class yet, their tier. That'll be one of the last ones we do because they're tier one, basically. All right, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode. I feel like that was a really successful episode. We're almost at 180,000 population. I mean, that, and the numbers have come way back up. Clearly, the steam carriages were the issue, I would imagine. They must just not have been getting delivered. They're back now, though, and so are the cigars. So cigars, steam carriages, they're back. Populations rising, kind of still rising, falling. The whole goal is to get these numbers to never move. That's my goal, anyway. Uh, we increased our research limit, which was a nice byproduct of having given everything to these guys yet again. And they have their salt pattern film reel and fans. So scooters will be next. I don't know if I'll do the Arctic reports and New World reports just yet. That is something I'm going to do, but I don't know if I should do that soon. I'm not too sure. It's a tricky one to do. You have to get an item and then sort stuff out from them in the Arctic and the New World. And mail is something I'm kind of leaving till a bit later. Maybe that'll come back to haunt me, I don't know. Oh yeah, the happiness buff from the newspaper has brought that down. So hopefully, when I do stabilize all the economy, you'll never get a newspaper that's that negative. Because it won't... All the articles that come out are like, Oh, you're short on this, or you're short on this. You know, no spectacles, a tabarine. God forbid. Cities becoming uglier, city left to burn. <laughs> so with optimal fire coverage, and hopefully delivering all the goods, you get a lot less negativity. Um, I regret to inform you this that'll be the hope anyway so hopefully they'll start getting their citrus that'll take a while to be delivered but there's a lot riding on it there's so many different restaurants and bars that all require it it can take a little while for them to get their stuff it's been a while since I've just zoomed in and soaked it in all right that's gonna have to be it for this episode thank you all for bearing with the series these last 10 or 15 episodes as it's just been crazy in the numbers but I like to think those of you who stuck with it will get that nice payoff at the end where we'll be decorating and making the cities as pretty as I possibly can and then um, yeah I'll create as many stamps and stuff of all that as I can give them all out and uh, everyone will have a great old time and then we'll start a new series either on stream or yeah probably on stream and I'll probably do a mod there was a really cool mod for I can't remember what it is but they basically add the Asian biome and uh, it looks awesome so it's coming along really nicely shout out to those guys when I know the actual mod name and stuff I'll obviously tell you guys the author name and stuff properly i'm just going off shooting from the hip right now i just can't quite remember um and then want to do some of those scenarios never did many of them all right that's gotta be it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one